Nicole Scott here for Netbook News and here we are with some exciting Apple products. You know how much I love my Mac with its amazing Apple Intermediate Codex so I'm exporting videos for all of you so I decided to maybe live the dream for just a moment when I have Oh wait, this isn't Apple at all. This is actually a uh, Ubuntu Netbook Edition running Big Buck Bunny Hunter. And this is another MacBook Pro running Android 2.2. 2. 3, 2, 2, 2. <laughs> so these are the devices that most of us as bloggers, except for most people in this room, use to export and create video because they're great solid built machines, but they just have crappy battery life. Because we need, like, it's, it's actually my dream to flip into something like an Android ecosystem like this where I can export my video, use up all of that great Core i uh, power, and then switch into Android and have, like, I don't know, let's, let's, let's just channel Charbucks. Five years of battery life, right? <laughs> well, unrealistically, like, maybe we could go for, like, I don't know, let's like say we have eight minutes left and we had two hours, right? So something like that. So here we actually have Android running on a Mac. So in this instance, we can use the trackpad to navigate around. So we can go into the gallery, choose to look at some photos, and I love that these are the um, Windows photos, which is just, yeah, <laughs> it's got nothing to do with any of these systems. But if you look at the trackpad, you can actually just gestures, gesture through, like, on Android. So, and then if we want to get back to the home screen, we just kind of double click, ooh, double click with two fingers. And here we are back at the home screen. Now, if we wanted to search around, uh, luckily, well, if keyboard comes up, but stupid Mac doesn't have a touch screen. So we'll just use the keyboard. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. Um, and then if we want to, all we have to do is look at the side here. And they've actually modified it. Uh, they've taken out the optical drive and put in some magical hardware. Uh, and then all we have to do is hit the switch inside this Kensington lock, and here we are in Apple. So an interesting thing that I found when I was playing with this earlier, let's just go to photo booth. Um, so the dream is that we have all of this, you know, oh, there's me. <laughs> I actually filmed the video earlier, but it's gone. Uh, so this will actually keep running, and if we switch back, oh, actually, I'll show you on the Ubuntu over here. So if we just go over to this one, so this is running Big Buck Bunny Hunter. And then if we just flip the switch on the side that they put inside the Kensington lock, you can see that the Apple applications are still running. So it's actually running both, both operating systems on, at the same time off of both motherboards that are built inside. So if you want the power saving, you're going to actually have to put one to sleep. So that's just you know, a little reminder that you could be running two OSs off of one battery in our dream situation. So this has just been a quick look at... Oh wait, let's not end on Apple screens. That's just terrible. Just switch these over. <laughs> so there we go. So here are a couple of MacBook Pros running on open source software. <laughs>